Uh, good morning. Just reading um, in the Garden of Gethsemane when they took Jesus. Oh, just the most incredible thing just struck me um, regarding this. I read, I don't know if you have one. Um, I hope you can get one. It's a, a interlinear uh, Bible. And it's the Hebrew in the Old Testament and the Greek in the New Testament. And it's word for word what the word means exactly. Like, um, you know, where it says, I have many mansions in my place. It says dwelling places is the exact word. It wasn't mansions. Anyway, just a simple things like that, where it says um, when in garden when they came to Jesus and he said, I am he, it says in our Bible, and they all fell back. He didn't say, he said, I am. Because he's the great I am. Amen. But when they, um, when they were taking him and Peter took a sword out, he drew his sword and striking the slave of the high priest, took off him the ear. Then says to him, Jesus, put back of you the sword to the place of it. All for those taking the sword by a sword shall perish. Or think you not that I can now call upon the Father of me, and he will place me near place near me more than 12 legions of angels. How then should be the fulfilled the scriptures that so it must be? In that hour said Jesus to the crowd. So why is it so important to read the Bible? Because you got to know what's going to be fulfilled. And you got to know what's fulfilled in you as a child of God. How can, how, how can, you know, we pray every day for problems to be gone, and I do, I'm most guilty, and we all are. Oh, get rid of these problems, give me whatever so I can get rid of these problems and everything. And it just struck me, how then can the scriptures be fulfilled that we are partakers in the sufferings of Jesus Christ? Rejoice. If you're, if you're going through a struggle, we're just partake, partaking in the sufferings of Jesus, sufferings, same as he did. Praise the Lord. You got to read. You got to read the instructions. You got to know. Amen. Oh my gosh, it's so great. But anyway, this is the Bible. It's called a interlinear Hebrew Greek. English Bible, and um, it's fantastic. You get deeper, deeper meaning. You know, we have in the Word we have what's called the milk of the Word and the meat of the Word. And just like you don't feed a baby meat because he'll choke, you don't say to a newborn, newly born, new, brand new Christian, start throwing deep things at them. They'll choke and they'll get frustrated. And then they'll act, then they'll be like, um, well, I'm not going to get it or whatever. Anyway, it's just frust it's frustrating to them. So you got to feed them milk, love and milk. But if you're past the milk and you want to start eating meat, get one of these. You'll love it. Peace out.